in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually set up a VoiceThread link that you already created. And I, again, had that in a previous video on how to create the link. So we have that here. It's created, but it hasn't actually been set up. There's different ways to create an ungraded and a graded option. What I'm going to show you now is an ungraded VoiceThread discussion. And so the only step you really have to take is to click the link that you created. And then it's going to take you to a few different options on what you can do. What we're going to click is actually individual voice thread. I want to explain what these would do in this context and why you don't want to, if you're creating a, a discussion version of voice thread, click these. Course view would just basically take the student to all the voice threads of that class. So if you had multiple discussions, it would show them all of them. And that's problematic because you want them to go to the very specific one that you're linking within your course. Now, if you said VoiceThread Home, it would take them to all the voice threads they have. It would take them to their home. We want to send them to a very specific individual voice thread. So that's what we're going to go ahead and click. If you already have voice threads set up, you could click on them and share with the class and you're done. It's the same kind of process to view it on the student side as you are used to using it now. So if we go to example module and we click on that voice thread, you'll see that it is now linked to that one you just created and that they have access to it now. 